What is going on YouTube? One only extra. I'm here and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. Oh boy, look what we have today. The beautiful 2021 RS660 from Aprilia. This thing is brand spanking new. I mean, still got the temp tags. <laughs> you can't get any more new than that. But we are out here at the mountain because we're going to take this up. We're going to see how it feels. I took it for a little spin already, so I'll hold those comments for later. But let's ride it for a little bit and then we're going to obviously talk about it. The seat is so <laughs> squishy and comfortable. Oh my God, this is absolutely the best seat on a motorcycle. Has to be. It's so, so comfortable. And I mean, outside of like, uh cruise or something that's meant to be super comfortable but the seat oh my god it's nice and soft uh, it's very freaking nice Let's see what we got here we're around our first turn man this thing feels planted there we go <laughs> oh boy this feels very, very planted. You know, it's not really all that surprising considering, you know, it's a chassis that comes from bikes like the RS34. So here we are with the 2021 RS660 from Aprilia. This thing feels amazing. It's so freaking windy. I'm hoping that the audio is gonna come through, but we had a blast riding this bad boy. Now let's get into some little technical specs. This is a parallel twin 659cc motor that puts out around 100 horsepower or maybe 90 to the wheels. It's got about 49 pound-feet of torque so it really doesn't have something that's going to blow you away but the way that it's delivered, ah, it's good. You know the power isn't intimidating at all. You feel very, very comfortable getting around this bike and really pushing it a little bit. The cool thing about the RS660 is the torque is really in a good range for like if you're cruising around town or whatnot. You know, it comes on really, really strong at about 4,000 RPM up through 6,000. After 6,000, it really starts to scream. And you can actually kind of hear the notes of its big brother, the RSV4, in the motor because, you know, the parallel twin is actually the front half of the RSV4 V4 motor. I think it just gets another level once you get past six grand. It just kind of opens up a little bit more. Let's talk about the styling a little bit. You know, it's got all these integrated winglets, if you will, and honestly, it gives this bike a very aggressive but beautiful profile too. If you look at the side here, you see these winglets, and these look really good on this motorcycle. They don't stick out too much on the RS660. They look great. From the front, whew, the front of this motorcycle, it's gorgeous. The headlights, the little strakes that are on the front look so good. And I'll tell you what, I really like this paint scheme. There's a yellow, <laughs> I've heard in person it looks good, in pictures it looks god awful. I talk about bikes that as soon as you hop on them you feel comfortable. This is one of those bikes that you can absolutely hop on and feel very comfortable. The power comes on so beautifully, I mean, it's not super smooth like the linear inline four would be but and it's got to look some character to it because i mean this is that parallel twin so it's got that weird little grunt that the rs 4 has but you know obviously halved the high beams is so close to your clutch that it you just flick it on by accident <laughs> it happened to me like three times already now we talked about the suspension on this rs660 it has kayaba forks it doesn't have compression dampening which you know, as you start to really tune this motorcycle for the track or something like that, you might want, and hopefully, you know, the higher end model of the RS660 when it comes out, the factory version, hopefully it have only suspension, you can adjust all that stuff. But from the factory, it's a little soft, but it's not so much so that when you brake, you dive down like crazy or anything like that. It's, it keeps the chassis very nice and very tame and really confidence inspiring. Now the RS660 is in that kind of sweet spot that doesn't really exist right now. It's not as hardcore as an R6 or a ZX6R. It's also not as soft as something like a CBR650R or even the Ducati Supersport. It's kind of in between where it can be fast, but it's incredibly comfortable. And to go on that comfort, we have to talk about this seat because 
Oh my God, is this the softest, nicest seat I've ever had on a bike like this? It is so plush, it's so nice to sit on. The other thing is it's got good tactile feel to it. Like when you actually sit down and you move around on it, say you wanna lean off the bike a little more, get your butt off the seat, it holds you. Very, very, very comfortable seat. Absolutely one of the best for this type of motorcycle, so good. Now, like I said, this isn't quite as hardcore as a ZX-6R and R6 because of the way these clip-ons are. They're a little raised, they're a little farther up, which makes your riding position not quite as hunched over. You're kind of a little more upright. Like I said, it's that beautiful in-between. The way this bike changes directions is phenomenal. It feels beautifully light, beautifully light. It just leans in and it feels like you have a tether holding you right where you need to be. Oh, and by the way, this thing has cruise control. <laughs> How cool is that? Now the RS660 does have a quick shifter and auto blipper on it. The quick shifter up, especially under revs, is very, very good. Down, however, is a little clunky. And I wonder if that's just because it's being, you know, the parallel twin, the way that the motor firing, but for an Aprilia to have a little clunky downshift is a little surprising. It also may be because it's a newer bike. Once it gets completely broken in, the quick shift is probably gonna be even better. I will say though, at high revs, as you rev down through the gears, it is a lot more smooth. So, you know, maybe it's just the, the rev range or what have you, but my first impression of it with the downshift is a little bit clunky for, especially for an Aprilia. Really enjoying these brakes. brakes are very 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 good they're not crazy strong but they do exactly what you need them to do they're very nice so the r660 obviously feels amazing i've explained that already but what really gets my attention are the electronics i know i know xram every bike you review now has great electronics it's because they do everybody's stepping up their game and for a 600 cc motorcycle to have what this bike has very very impressive so let's get into the dash a little bit here come on you get the beautiful aprilia screen and then you get this ride mode. You got commute, which is obviously more for the street, less for the track, a little more forgiving. The throttle response is a little more tame. Go to dynamic. It's dynamic. The throttle response is a lot sharper. You know, the characteristics of the motor are more ramped up. You definitely get more punch for what you want. And then you go to individual and that's where you can really start to tweak things. You see from here, you can tweak your ABS, engine braking, your tracks control, your wheelie control. You can turn all that off. And what's really cool is there's a six axis IMU in it. So it actually has cornering ABS, which is really, really good to have on a motorcycle. Again, of a 600 CC range, really good stuff. You have two presets and then you have your individual that you can tweak. From there though, I thought that was enough, but Aprilia, not so much. If you go into the menu, go to vehicle, you see how it says road, roadhouse. If you see how it says road, you can go to race and race now gives you two more options. You have challenge. Again, it's actually a track mode. And then you have time attack, which time attack you can also change on this. What's really cool about the R660 is you can actually turn your ABS to be front only. You can turn the rear completely off. You can turn wheelie control pretty much all the way off. It'll let you do wheelies. This is very sophisticated technology to have on a 600cc motorcycle. You like to see, you look at the ZX-6R and the dash is still dated. This dash is beautiful. It's been updated. It's definitely what the Aprilia needs because the one that's on my RS before is definitely lacking. This makes up for it for sure. I will say with these menus and actually getting to the different settings, while commute, dynamic, and individual are easy to get into, they're not super intuitive. You gotta hold the button that's down here and that allows you to change the settings in individual. But to get into your other ones, you have to hold this button over here, go to vehicle, go to road, and then as it highlights red, you go to race and that's where you get your other settings. The problem is going back, you actually have to hold that little right button and then like tap it in order for it to go back to your vehicle settings. So it's, it's not the most intuitive, I also think there's a lot of menus on here. While it's great, it might be a little much for the people that are looking for a 600cc motorcycle. That might be a little too advanced for them, but I'm glad this motorcycle has it. It's, uh, it's so good to see where these things are coming and where they're going to. Because if a little motorcycle has what this has on it, imagine what the new RS-4 is gonna have. It's gonna be that and then some. It's so exciting. Two things that this Aprilia has done that I've seen Yamaha do. I've also seen, you know, the Envy Augustus that I reviewed do. 
there's a gas gauge on it. There's actually a gas gauge, an Italian brand other than MV that actually has a gas gauge. How impressive is that? It's sad that we're to this age now where they have these beautiful dashes and there's so few that actually have a gas gauge on it. This one does. The other thing that the RS660 does really well is it now has the Aprilia MIA, which is their app. And that app can go through this engine, kind of set up, kind of you know, the same way the MV does, the same way the Yamaha does. We can tweak it, see what your parameters are. Not only that, but it tracks your ride. You know, again, we're riding the mountain. It'll tell you how many miles you go. And it's the fact that all these motorcycles now are doing these apps where they connect and the connectivity through the dash is really good. BMW S1000R was the only one at the time that would show your navigation on the dash, you know, aside from adventure bikes. I dig this bike. This thing, this RS660 is amazing. It feels great. It's not too much of anything. I will say, like I said, the electronics might be a little advanced for some of the people that are gonna ride this motorcycle, but I like having it. It's amazing. You're also getting that Italian brand that, you know, it's an Aprilia. It's a solid motorcycle. And it just got brought into Moto America as a bike that can be raced now. So there's so many places this bike can go and I can't say enough about it, I'm blown away. It's so, so good. So I'd like to thank Aaron at Elite Guns and Ammo for allowing me to take his beautiful 2021 RS660 out. Hit him up, I have a link down below for his website, for his Facebook page and for his Instagram. So check him out. But what can I say about this RS660? It's amazing, I love it. It, is, it makes so much sense. This thing has such premium parts on it. And yes, it's $11,400, but you get what you pay for. This thing is absolutely worth that price. There is something I will say that I'm not a fan of. I think if we upgraded these a little bit, these plastic pieces, it'd look a little bit better. The other thing is with aftermarket levers, you actually hit this fairing here. And if you have to turn around in a parking spot or something like that, like I did up here, I tried to turn, you, you hit the front brake and it actually grabs you can dump your bike. So I'm not sure if that's just because of the levers or just the way that the, what's the way that the fairings made. I didn't ride this before the levers got changed, so I'm not sure. But just keep that in mind. If you do change the mount, if you turn too far, you're going to hit this and you're going to screw yourself up. So be careful. <laughs> it was one one. I can't wait to see what they come out with next. You know, with the RSV4 that's coming out, if it has anything close to this dash, Oh my God, am I gonna be so excited to ride it and test it. But man, the Aprilia RS660, <laughs> so good. But with that, you all have a good one. I'm out.